dear students in this video we are going to see about the configurations of electric vehicles now we are going to see about the configuration the drivetrain consists of three major subsystems that is electric motor propulsion energy source and the auxiliary system the electric propulsion system comprises the electric vehicle controller polytronic control converter or controller electric motor mechanical transmission and driving wheels the energy source subsystem involves the energy source the energy management unit and the energy refueling unit the auxiliary subsystem consists of the power steering unit the hotel climate control unit and the auxiliary supply unit based on the control inputs from the accelerator and brake pedals the vehicle controller provides proper control signals to the electronic power controller or converter which functions to regulate the power flow between the electric motor and the energy source the backward power flow is due to the regenerative braking of the electric vehicle and this regenerated energy can be restored into the energy source provided the energy source is receptive this is the configuration of the general electric vehicle we are going to take for that a general electric vehicle how the structure will be this is the actual structure for the configuration of a general electric vehicle it consists of three major systems that is major subsystem one is electric propulsion system the second one is energy storage subsystem the third one is auxiliary subsystem the connectivity or interfacing between the different parts of the system or various components the red line indicates the electrical link and blue line indicates the control link and black line indicates the mechanical link now we are going to see about the first electric propulsion subsystem it consists of vehicle controller polytronic converter electric motor and transmission system the vehicle controller will take the response or the input from the driver then the, the that means the driver response that is acceleration or braking that will take the input from the uh, user or driver that is connected with the vehicle controller the vehicle controller get the input from the user or driver that is connected to the polytronic converter the power electronic converter that will connected with the energy source to the motor this is a middle connection of the uh, or connection between the energy source and the electric motor the required power will be supplied via the power electronic converter the power electronic converter produces or gives the energy to operate the motor based on the user input the required amount of power gives to the electric motor is depends or based on the uh, user input that means acceleration or braking how much acceleration is given by the user based on the acceleration the vehicle controller get the inputs that is connected with the power electronic converter so this based on the vehicle input that is by user input the vehicle controller necessary to produce the pulse width modulation to activate or trigger the devices electronic devices in the power converter so that the voltage the fixed source voltage is varied depends upon the user input that is connected with the electric motor so that the motor will be speed increased or decreased so that motor is directly connected with the electrical transmission system so that the user may apply for the acceleration depends upon that the vehicle will move in the forward direction the acceleration is keep on increasing more and more the proportionate input is get it from the vehicle controller that will produces the necessary signal for the polytronic converters the polytronic converter gets the signal from the electric vehicle controller that will gives the energy source to the electric motor so that the speed of the motor will be that is speed of the motor is increased so that the transmission 
system is also speed up so the entire vehicle speed will be increased this is the basic things about the propulsion system now we are going to consider about the energy source the energy source of system consists of three major blocks that is the energy management unit energy source and energy refueling unit the energy refueling is unit is required to store the energy to store the energy to refill that is connected with the bidirectional energy source similarly connected with the bidirectional energy management unit the energy refueling unit is connected with the energy management unit the energy management unit will take care of the uh, utilization of the energy in an effective way so that the energy used will be an efficient and better way so the energy source is the major uh, unit uh, that will give the necessary energy to the operation of electric motor so this is talk about the energy source subsystem for the entire energy control and the energy supply for the entire electric vehicle then the third subsystem talk about the auxiliary subsystem the auxiliary subsystem that is getting from the energy source that will produce the auxiliary sub power supply to power up the steering unit to give the power to the steering if you are going to operate if you are going to uh turn the uh, steering the power motor will turn the uh, are amplifying the wheels amplifying the rotation of the wheel then the auxiliary the same auxiliary power is supplied to the climate control unit so in order to ensure that the proper climate will take place inside the electric vehicle so these are all connected with the entire system produces the necessary operation of the electric vehicle system this is a general configuration of the electric vehicle system now we are going to use that the most of the ev batteries as well as ultra capacitors and flywheels really possesses the ability to accept regenerative energy the energy management unit cooperates with the vehicle controller to control the regenerative braking and its energy recovery it also works with the energy refueling unit to control the refueling unit to monitor the usability of the energy source the auxiliary power supply provides the necessary power with the different voltage level for the all the auxiliary powers ev auxiliaries especially the hotel climate control and power steering units there are a variety of possible ev configurations due to the variance due to the variations in electric propulsion characteristics and energy source as shown in figure so this is the different powertrain configuration of a pure electric vehicle these are the different possibilities of the configuration of electric vehicle in this diagram represent there are many ms c cb gb and d and fg here m represents the motor c represents the clutch and gb represents the gearbox d represents the differential that is torque splitter fg represents the fixed gear there are majorly six architectures are available in the configuration of electric vehicle where can be classified as six major classification of the electric vehicle architecture the first one is primary architecture the electric propulsion replaces the ic engine with the electric motor here replace the ic engine is replaced with the electric motor is connected with the clutch gearbox and a differential this system is nothing but the primary architecture system initially developed for the electric vehicle after that the clutch is replaced that is removed for multi speed gearing this is the removed architecture that is the reduced architecture b represent the reduced architecture it is especially used for the multi speed gearing no need of clutch for multi speed with an electric motor that has a constant power in a long speed range a fixed gearing the c structure represents the modern architecture 
the entire assembly is converted into a single assembly with a axle point at both driving wheels it is a the entire structure of the a or b structure architecture is reconfigured to modern architecture with a single assembly everything a uh, uh, connected with the uh, both axle points that is motor is connected with the fixed gear that is connected with the differential directly connected with the wheels this talk about the modern architecture and the diagram d represents the dual motor architecture here in the c configuration that is modern architecture only one motor is used to operate for the both the wheels for drive wheels for in the d type configuration that is dual motor architecture the mechanical differential is replaced by using a true traction motors operate at different speed when the vehicle run along with a curved path we can vary that different speed in uh, during that curve operation because of the two motors connected with the two wheels that is nothing but dual motor architecture similarly for that e diagram represents the in wheel architecture it is a simplest simplification of the model of d structure the traction motor can be placed inside the wheel thin planetary gear setup may be employed to reduce the motor speed so this structure is a very simplification compared with the d types architecture then we go for the f type f is the direct drive architecture this architecture electric motor in the wheel drive can be directly connected to the drive wheel so here the fixed gear system is connected for the motor is for the e structure the motor is connected with the fixed gear that is connected with the driving wheel here the motor is directly connected with the driving wheel it is further simplified this method is at present architecture is used for the electric vehicle that is drive train architecture so far we have discussed about the basic configuration of the electric vehicle and different configurations applicable for the electric vehicles is we have seen dear students i hope all of you understand about the various configuration of electric vehicle vehicles and the basic general configuration of electric vehicle thank you